Welcome back, guys. We are here on the Sky Block Hardcore series. Yeah, I got my sword out. It's nighttime. I went ahead and lit it up like one of my subscribers asked me to do. So it is all lit up pretty. So we're we're, we're just tough in the night now because actually what we're we're hoping for. We got a couple zombies over here and whatnot. Um, you know what I'd like to do just so I don't fall off here because this looks like this could be an issue I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. So I'm kind of trapped in here and I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna kill the spider and these zombies and hopefully um, I had two endermen here. I think it was last episode. Ow get off me, dude. I thought he fell off I didn't realize he came over the top Came over the top He flanked me Give me the flank. He did. Alright, so let's go ahead and just grab all this good stuff up. Let some more stuff spawn out there. Hopefully we'll get something. Uh, this can go in there. Oh, looks like I put some string in there. Heck, let's just put that in there for now. There we go. Uh, I need to put a pressure pad maybe on this door so it'll close. I keep forgetting that it doesn't have a pressure pad and I just walk in there. I need to gain some health back here before I go venturing back out there. That spider gave me the hard flank, man. Gave me the hard flank. Alright, come on. Regen some health. There we go. Alright. Now I can be ballsy again. Yeah, what's up, zombie man? What's up, buddy? I don't care about you guys, really. I just want to kill you so that I can get an Enderman to spawn. That's all I really want. Hopefully they spawn uh, let's see what do I got going here this is all done okay so let's get rid of this stuff I want that Enderman so that I can get that freaking uh, vacuum hopper because I'm getting very tired of having to run out here and pick up all the stuff from these freaking hop or from this clicker when it's done you know I just want to I just want to be able to uh, have it all automated. Still don't see none out there. And how much iron? Do I, boy, I added a little bit of iron in here. We're gonna have to automate all this too, because I'm tired of standing here doing this. There we go. All right, so. Oh, another zombie at the door. What's up, zombie man? What's up, buddy? Yeah. Come at me. There you go. There we go. Get some of these guys to fall off. Come on, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see ya. I see you guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and walk back over here and hopefully get something to spawn. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get a Enderman to spawn. No, we got some more freaking spiders. Okay. Is he giving me the hard flank? Ow! What a putz. Ow, 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 ow. We're getting some health here real fast. That was almost bad. That was almost really bad. I didn't realize there was two of them. Ow! 
I like how a skeleton can just like shoot out the side of his his body, you know. Like I gotta be looking at you to aim, but they can just be like looking ninety degrees the other direction, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, here, let me just blast you with this arrow." Wrong. Speaking of, I don't have a bow yet. Bow would be nice. Come on, gang. I need to get an Enderman to spawn, and you guys are not helping the situation. Oh, he's going to give me the hot flank. Here he comes. There he is. I told you he was going to give me the hot flank. Woo! I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, wow. Took out two crops. This ain't a good place when I'm turning around swinging my sword and I'm actually taking out our crops. Gotta pay attention to that. Come on, man. I just want an end of man. Okay, let's go back. Come on, silly spider. Now we're not going to get none to spawn. Woo! Tried to snipe me. Did you see that fool try to snipe me? Tried to snipe me. Ouch. That fool tried to snipe me. Uh oh, I'm out. I'm out. The spot is chasing me. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. One more hit, you're dead. Ha ha. Hurry, run to the other side. Hopefully, one might spawn. I don't know if they will or not. Probably not. Nope, doesn't look like nothing's spawning. Damn it, I tried. I tried. I just want that freaking vacuum hopper set up. You know, it's just like everything. You know, you know, when you sit there and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for something and it never comes, you know, and then when you, you don't need it, then all of a sudden it, like, shows up. That's probably what's going to happen. I just need to move on and work on other things. And then eventually I'll turn around and there'll be like an Enderman standing there. And I'll be like, woohoo, give it to me, baby. All right. So let's go ahead. I got some string going on now. And we got some rotten flesh. Boy, we need to do some organizing here badly. I've got so much crap strewed across everywhere here. We've got enough ores that we should be able to actually... Um, I'm going to drop these down like this. And this goes like this. We'll split these in half. Just so we'll stay filling those up. Uh, let's see. So what I need to do is... Um, I need to make what's known as a saw because that will actually let me look at this safari okay we can make this single-use safari net but we need we need this ball of glue and the ball of glue can be gotten from a saw so let's look at a saw which is this sawmill so if we make this bad boy here we could actually make, we can double our wood for one. For two, we can get those parts that we need to make that. So, I think we have enough invar. We do. So, let's go ahead and start working on this bad boy here. Because this will help our cause here a bit. So, we'll go... An Invar Axe, and we need, oh, I think I used up all the glass, so I need to, wait, did I put gravel in one of these? 
I don't think I did, did I? I think I ended up pulling it out and using it. Okay, so let's go. I need six of those. Okay, and I need the gold and the iron. So I need a couple pieces of gold. Let's go ahead and just do those up like this. So give us four pieces. And oh, I needed a reception coil too, so I'm gonna need one piece there, so that's good. And do we have enough redstone? We do. So we'll we're gonna go ahead and do this. Um, let's grab this and make our sand out of it. We need to put one piece of coal here. And whoop. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these and start these smelting. There we go. Grab the other three. And voila. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw those in there. Um, we've got the gold is done, so let's go ahead and grab that. We need four pieces of iron and that glass. So we need this one, two, three, and four. We need some of this glass. One more piece. Boom. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and do this. That'll give us that. And we need this to make this bad boy. And we've got this up here. And what else do we need? Two blocks of wood and some copper. Do I have some copper smelted yet? No. So we need some copper. Okay, there's the copper. So let's dump that in there. We got two ingots to pull. So we'll do that real fast. And we need two blocks of wood. There we go. Uh, one and two. And I think if we start putting this in there, all we need is the copper after this and we'll be good. So there. So once that copper's done, then we can go out here and we can slap that bad boy onto this and we could burn up some wood and that's not grown yet so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of bone meal because I want to show you how this works really fast I want to go like this come on there we go and I'm not gonna worry about the saplings or anything or the leaves right now I just want to get this out of the way I want to uh, see if we can get some glue out of it, get a glue ball. Get a glue, glue, glue ball. Oh, let's grab all that while we're right here. Okay, blast that there, and these should almost be done. Yes, let's grab these bad boys. Let's put that in there, and put these two up here. There. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, this is how this works. If you take this and you pop this off and you put this bad boy here, it'll start to go like this. And then we put this in here and watch. Normally we get two pieces or four pieces. We get six pieces. Bam. See how that works? Now this can be utilized to make charcoal. Now, what else you can do is you can come into here. I don't know if we've got one yet. Let me see if we do. We do. Okay, so when you do a rubber tree, you go like this. Let me knock this out of the way. Okay, so when you do the rubber tree, you get this wood. 
and then you get the rubber from it as well. But what you do with this wood is normally like on Feed the Beast, you would take this wood and you would you would run it through a was it a extruder, I think it is, or a macerator? I don't remember what it is. But anyways, you would actually get um, stuff out of it. Now here you do the rubber wood, and here's where you'll get jungle wood, and then you'll get balls of glue. And it's not gonna give us one, is it? Come on. Ugh. So anyways, you would do these rubber trees and that's where you'd get the glue at. So let me see if I've got a crook in here. I do. Let me go out and see if I can, because I want to make sure that I have enough saplings. Because I only got one more of these rubber trees left. I don't have a lot. Oh, there's another sapling. So I just want to make sure that I get saplings out of this. few saplings there. Perfect. Yeah, those rubber tree saplings are a little more important than the, the regular saplings. Uh, let's go like this and plant that back. There we go. Cool. Now we've got six saplings, so we're in good shape there. Dump that there, and I'm going to put this here. Oh, let's go replant one of these. I got one more block of rubber wood. Let's see if it gives it to me. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. There it is. There's your ball of glue. Okay, these can be used with blaze rods or blaze powder to actually make magma cream. But they can also be used with the string and the leather to make the... Safari nets, so that's a plus. We needed that. We needed that badly. Now we just need a piece of leather. Leather is a bitch to come by. But, um, let's go ahead and put this next to this. So I have those two, okay. But the thing with the leather is, we've got, we've got one more mushroom. So literally, we could actually breed this mushroom and another mushroom and continue to breed these guys until we get a few of them. Then after we get a few of them, we can actually shear this and make a cow. And then we can breed the hell out of those and then we'll have cows. Because if you notice, we didn't get no cows. We got a villager, we got a silverfish, we got a jade cat, we got a spawn chicken. It says spawn chicken, which is kind of weird because that's not a chicken egg. I'm curious about that one. Anyways, then we got a sheep, and then we got a pig, and this blitz. So, we're in good shape right now. We just got to continue to, like, build this platform out. And we got a couple little extra bits of wood, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this up since we've got what we needed and I'm gonna put this back down and fill this bad boy back up here there we go so I think that's gonna do us for this episode we got things moving along our lava's starting to come along we almost got looks like almost yeah we're over half a tank of lava so that's doing its thing um, this is still working out well so this just like is filled up and doing its thing um, Actually, what I will do is I'll just kind of go like this real fast, too. Oh, I, that's all there was in there. But this is full of lava, so that's good. We'll let that work and do its thing. All right, so we're making progress. Oh, all of our uh, stuff went ahead. And, oh, oh my God, there he is. We want this guy. Come on, baby. Come on, give it to me. There it is! Woohoo! We did it! We freaking did it! Well, while we're still here, let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm so excited now. Uh, that's already set to obsidian, so we need one obsidian. And how much iron do we have left? We don't have enough iron, so we're going to have to cook some iron really quick. But I don't freaking care. I really don't. Um, let's do this. 
let's get this cooking and um, let's do this. Whoop. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to break these down because I just don't care. We've I've come this far. I want to make this. I don't care if this episode's long or not now. Uh, let's shut that door just to be safe. Um, hammer. Okay, let's break all this crap down. There we go. Now let's go like this. Now we got this. Let's go ahead and break this down. Oh, I'm so excited. I was just getting ready to go out there and do my outro too for you guys and I happened to look over and see that Enderman. So, we've got to do this really quick like. Quick and in a hurry, baby. Quick and in a hurry. This will be more than enough iron. So, uh, let's go ahead and dump this in there. And what I'm going to need is a chest. So let's make a chest and that's going to go there and then the iron is going to go here. So I just need that one more piece. Boom. Okay, this will make our hopper. Then we've got the hopper, the ender eye, and let's go grab our piece of obsidian. What should be in here. And let's put that up there. And boom, there's our vacuum hopper. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I've got one item duct. Uh, damn. What's it take to make an item duct? Oop. Uh. So it's lead and tin. Well, there's the tin. I need, I need tin is what I need. There we go. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to do this real fast. I'm trying to hurry because I know I'm running long on my recording. So let's just leave that like that. Let's start pulling these because we can. Okay, so what ends up happening here is, and actually, I don't really have to worry about the item duct right now. Um, okay, we've got that in there. Uh, let's go ahead and go like this. Okay, so what ends up happening is this little vacuum right here, we're going to end up connecting it to a chest. But you can see how it's like sucking everything into it. So what ends up happening is we're going to take this dust, okay, and we're going to put this piece of dust in here, and you'll see what happens. When the stuff pops out, that vacuum is going to suck it up. Okay? And it sucks it up just like that and puts it into there. So all we have to do now is we will connect it to a chest because we want it to be a little more efficient but for now oh look at that another enderman um, I want this enderman to come over here where did he go oh here he is come on uh, did he disappear completely uh, this damn rain did him in. Okay, anyways. So this will just continue to suck those up. And then all we've got to do is just sit here and just, just come out and collect them. Just like that. That's what I needed. Now what you do is you can actually come into here and you can configure it so that we can figure out what side we want to put the out port on. And then we'll put an item duct to it and we'll go right into a chest. So... Um, we're going to stand right here in the rain. We're going to call this episode because it's pouring rain. It's wet, it's cold, it's miserable, but we got our hopper, as you can see it right there on the edge of the screen. That's awesome. So, until next time, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
You can also follow us on Twitter as well so you know when we're streaming and when we're posting new YouTube content. If you haven't seen us on Twitch, come and check us out over there. Hang out, be part of the audience in the live stream. And if you're new to the channel there, go ahead and hit the follow button while you're there as well. So until next time, guys, we will see your faces later. Thank you.